We often hear people saying that they pray to God but their prayers are not answered. But God says in the Quran that he answers the prayers of each and every supplicant. In the 186th ayat of Surah Al-Baqarah, God says, let me read it out for you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذا سألك إبادي أني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الدائي إذا دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لألهم يرشدون صدق الله نسيم The translation of this ayat is that when my servants God is saying when my servants ask you concerning me I am indeed close to them I listen to the prayer of every supplicant when he calls on me. Let them also with a will listen to my call and believe in me that they may walk in the right way. In this ayat, God tells us that he is very close to his servants and he is quite eager to listen to their prayers. In fact, he loves it when his servants call upon him, supplicate to him, pray to him and he feels immensely happy at granting them their wishes. God treasures are boundless and he is most generous and gracious. So let us learn how we should supplicate to him. The first thing that we need to look is whether our supplications are pure. What do I mean by a pure supplication? It means that our pleas and prayers should be directed to God Almighty and nobody else. If we are praying to someone else and not the one true God, then how would our prayers be answered? It is also equally important that our income is pure. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu has cautioned us that if we have usurped the rights of others and earned money by illegitimate means, our prayers would not be answered. Once these two prerequisites are fulfilled, we need to understand how exactly prayers are answered. Friends, there are four ways in which God answers our prayers. If the thing we seek is good for us, God grants it to us as it is now or later else God gives us something better or he removes some hardship from our way or he rewards us in the hereafter so if we feel that we are not getting what we have prayed for we need to exercise patience and continue praying to God we should be rest assured that he would answer our prayers in his most infinite wisdom in one of the four ways I have told you just now. In the second part of the ayat, God says that just as he listens to our calls, we too should listen to him and believe in him. We should be devout and obedient servants of our Lord and Creator. In conclusion, God says that this is so that we ourselves would be rightly guided, that we would find the right path. Just as we pray to God for our needs, obeying God's commands is also in our own interest. God does not stand to gain from our obedience to him. Obeying him is for our own benefit, for our own peace, our own progress and salvation. God has sent prophets and messengers in all times and ages and sent scriptures to aid them and to guide mankind. The last such prophet and messenger is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, And the last scripture is the Holy Quran.